What in the world was just spotted in Indonesia? This is uh, the images that you're seeing on your screen right now. This is supposedly a member of Indonesia's lost pygmy tribe. A mysterious small figure is caught on camera scurrying out of the undergrowth in a remote area of northern Sumatra. The person was spotted. I mean, I, I really can't tell what this is. I want to know what you guys think. I think it's a creature. Uh, he appeared to be half naked and ran down a dirt track carrying a large stick. He was chased by bikers. After a group of bikers chased him, the man dived into the bushes and disappeared. He could be from one of the province's seven tribes who live in remote areas, who have really no contact to the outside world. They're still in large part unknown. Uh, the video was posted by Frito Graffi. Uh, and has received over 2 million views. The motorcyclists were traveling down the dirt track when they saw this bald creature leap out of the trees. The footage shows one of the bikers falling on the ground as the mystery figure runs away from the group. One of the bikers continues down the track in pursuit of the skittish man who jumps into the bushes by the side of the road. Now, I don't know about you, but I have seen so many of these strange sightings popping up lately. It's got to make you wonder what in the world's going on. And of course, these things are popping up all over the world. It's not just in America. It's not just in one country. All over the world. A couple of the motorcyclists venture into the bushes to try and see where the tribesmen went uh, and find the large stick he was carrying. Some viewers think that the mysterious man is a member of the Lost Pygmy tribe in Indonesia. The mythical tribe uh, is said to be smaller than the average man and flee when they see people from the outside world. Now that's really interesting because if you go back just uh, a few years to actually, I think it was around 2012 when the dig started in Indonesia, uh, there was a race of hobbit people and they've got the archaeological evidence that proves this. They were called the Homo floresiensis. Excuse me. Did the Nephilim include a race of hobbit-like people? I reported on this back in uh, April of last year uh, because there, were, there was more evidence that had just been uncovered, I guess. Uh, the Nephilim race defines the Bible as the sons of God came to the daughters of men, and they had borne them children. These were mighty men, which in old time were men of renown. Looking at scripture, much can be derived from Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. The race of Nephilim is not just limited to giants, but the same fallen angels are now the creatures of the abyss. The book of Revelation gives insight to all the creations that exist. For example, militarized locusts with teeth of a lion and the hair of a woman. These are considered the creatures of the end times. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. So that really puts into perspective what exactly could be walking the earth today or what, could, what was walking the earth back then. So what all did the fallen create with the daughters of men? Recently, more discoveries are shedding light on a race of hobbit-like people from the island of Flores in Indonesia. The hobbits originated in the antediluvian uh, time period. Original human analysis of the findings showed that the hobbits lived roughly 12,000 years ago. But the new findings, which are now being analyzed and most likely manipulated, show the timeline of 50,000 to 190,000 years ago. The findings have been manipulated in the past to continually assault the timeline of the Bible and, of course, creation in an attempt to hide the truth. Now, if we fast forward to this, this interesting tribesman, as you can see here, it could actually be a, a literal race of hobbit individuals or hobbit people i guess i, I don't really hobbit creatures there we go um and actually if you uh have read this article that i wrote last year and i know you won't remember it but they used to use weapons to hunt with like spears and sticks and, and all that sort of stuff that is actually what this little creature is carrying now of course that's common practice for that time period in hunting now, who knows what the tribes of today uh, that have yet to be really uncovered or yet to be really brought to the light uh, are used to hunt with. But it's just interesting to see this, uh, this video. I, I was questioning, of course, at first if it was faked or whatever have you. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's already got 2 million views. And, of course, there are several people who are claiming that this is an actual legitimate hobbit-like tribe in Indonesia still in existence today. Now, of course, other people are saying it's, it's nothing, um, but most people think the uh, tribe are simply legend. Since being released on March 22nd, the video has been watched more than 2 million times. There are thought to be seven tribes who still live in the northern province today. 
Now, as to what exactly that entails, who knows? The groups who live in remote stretches of Sumatra are mainly farmers and gatherers who live off the land. It is unknown where in the northern province the video was taken. The tribe work in forests to fell timber and collect resin, rubber, and incense in the southeast of the province. The people farm rice and coffee and also raise livestock such as horses and cows. The group who practice Islam also use shamans to ensure uh, they enjoy good harvests. It is thought that there are many as, as many as 150,000 of the tribesmen living today. 150,000. Hmm. I would imagine that we would have seen more by now, but who knows? I don't know. I want to get your guys' take on this. Let me know in the comments. That's all I've got for you. God bless and carry on.